Hello, so we are back in this time with another Temu video review. Now, you know, we are doing electronics on this uh, YouTube channel. And uh, what I picked up for you, it will going to help you on your repairs or DIY or whatever you like. Now, before we are starting, check the link on the description. You can use your phone and install the app. Or you can scan the QR code. Once you install the app, you can use the code from the screen and the Temu search bar for a 10% discount. Be sure, once you redeem the coupon, you'll uh, use the coupon within the 24 hours. After that, the coupon it will expire. Let's start with the first three products. I'm going to apologize for my finger. i done some uh, dodgy gardening work. But I'm okay. Eh? The first I want to focus... It's a universal charger. Yeah, you're right. We have so many. You know what problems we have. We don't have enough current, enough current. I picked up a good one. Long cable. And what connector is this? Basically, this is Toshiba. This is Asus. This is even Acer. You can close the pins very easily. With a tweezer, you can get the pins close together and you can use an Acer. But also there are a lot of devices using this connector, including my lights, and I have the NLBA, and I have a lot with the round pin. So this is a 120 watts um, power supply or charger. 19 volts, 6.3 amps. Basically, you can use it on any laptop with a round pin connector or even on average gaming laptops. Average gaming laptops like Acer Nitro 5, they are using around 6-7 amps charger. I'm pretty sure everyone needs something like that. Once you download and install the app, the price of this is £1.84. Just to understand how cheap it is. A charger over 6 amps? Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, they will buy it. You can, uh, if you need like a different connector, you can cut the connector and solder another connector. And you can modify it probably on every way possible. You have the QR code on the screen, you know, you can, um, you know, download the app and uh, go straight and buy it. Now, the next product, yeah, just leave this on one side, is something what I need. I'm looking to buy something like this from a long time. You remember we have that device to fix batteries? Yeah. And uh, I cannot change the cells because I need a spot welder in order to change the cells. And finally, I got it. Let's uh, open this and let's have a look inside. I pick up this one because it's a dual pulse uh, spot welder. So instead of a single pulse of high current, it will be two, which of course is better. And this is the spot welder. Never had one like this. So finally, now I have one. We have a USB-C port and a power button. And it is coming on. More of that, you have, uh, you can change the pins. You have uh, pins for uh, spares. And also, you have the flat band to connect the batteries. This has to be pure copper. Here you have a bit of sandpaper, so you can sandpaper the element before welding. Remember, we review uh, the cells, the lithium cells, which uh, from Temo, like uh, a few months ago. Yeah, I still have them, and I was looking for something like that to use them. So let me bring the cells. You have to remember this, yeah. I use some, and uh, I still have few. So what you are doing with the spot welder, you can't really solder the cells. They are quite sensitive at high temperature. But you can weld them. So I'm going to use a flat band. And this one, not sure how it's working. I'm assuming you touch this. That's crazy, that's all. So check here. Huh? What do you think about that? And to the other cell, let's see. And we have two cells together. So what do you think about that? Huh? This is crazy. I mean, how did I live without something like that for so many years? Huh? 
beautiful. So now you can cut this and uh, here you can solder a wire. Can I take it off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you if you try hard, you can. <laughs> it's just beautiful. I mean, probably you can do it many times, right? So you can do it once. Yeah. Then you can do it one more time, because why not? Dual poles, you see. And one more time. Well, now you have, you see, three dots there. Yeah, wait, uh, we will, the, 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 you know, call me crazy, but I'm proper curious what is inside. It is impressive, you know, generating so much current from just, you know, a small device. Let me take it out. Now, how much you think this device costs? You, know? you won't believe it. Two pound and 71 pence. It's under three pounds. You can believe that? Yeah. Be sure you are using the, the QR code from the screen or the link from the description. So you can download up and buy it for under three pounds. Absolutely beautiful. Not sure what preheat means. But I'm going to study the manual and try to understand how this is working. Probably you can adjust the power and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. The next one is a classic. I don't think this device need to be described. I mean, you know I'm using it. You know that. So what you see on the screen on every of my video, this one, what you see there, I have this device inside of my power supply. Actually, I have a video modifying this device so you can use it with any power supply to display the current and the voltage on the screen. You can check the PD controller. You can check the PD protocol. You can check the cables. You can figure it out if the cable, it will, uh, it will work like, let's say, PD 3.1. There are a lot of cables. They pretend to be PD 3.1, but actually they are not. So with a device like this, you can test them. And, yeah, check here, check here. I mean, this device is expensive, but you won't believe it, the discounted price from Temo. So let's plug a USB-C on this one. So you have USB-C, you have input, output, then you have the cable, you have micro USB to connect it to the computer, and also you can download the software from their website. No, sorry, not this micro USB, this one. It's saying PC, yeah. So you can connect the USB-C, you can connect it here, or you can connect it on the other port. So here you're not going to see the current, which is taken by the device itself. Now on the app, you can do some interesting things. Like uh, you can trigger different PD protocol, like 2.0, 3.0, Samsung, Huawei, and many others, including Apple. So you can change the voltage and you can trigger. Then you can set up alarms for like current and voltage and all the stuff. And also very useful, you can see the resistance of the device. And this is very, very important. Basically, the current taken is based on the resistance of the device you connect. So I believe this is very important for repairs. Now, the price of this, you can buy it from Temu for £15.15. Again, you can use the link from the description or you can use the QR code from, uh, from the screen. Definitely, it's worth the money. What about this? Huh? What about this? You know what it is. You know it. This is something we are using every day. Low melt solder. Let me open. This is a must-have item. So for what we are using, the low melt solder, basically when you're doing electronics, you want to lower the solder uh, temperature. Let's say you have a charging port. Charging port is metal and plastic. You have a connector, uh, like a screen connector, phone screen connector, plastic. So this is 140 degrees uh, solder uh, paste. I will say, let's do a test, huh? What do you think? 
you know, I can't believe from years I'm buying, you know, like uh, soldering paste, like flux, like stuff. I never got this. Never, ever. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe. The piston. Yeah. So here we have a motherboard. And let's say you have to replace a port like this, right? Okay, let's do it. I'm going to take the port out first. So you remove the charging port, but you have to solder back. In order to solder back, this solder uh, melting temperature is over 300 degrees, so you will melt the plastic. So we will be using low melt solder. Good. Now we're going to melt it like this. And that's all. That's all what you have to do. Now you have low melt solder which probably bond with the original solder, and that's fine. You know, maybe it's not 140, now it's 160, 170, it's still fine. Now, you don't have to clean it. Check that. You see, it's actually what is left, yeah? It's actually flux. Check here. This is flux. You don't have to clean it. So I'm going to set up the temperature to like 300 degrees on the hot air. And now we can solder the port without any issues. So this is like 300 degrees. And the port is solder, check here. So actually you can play with the heat how much you want. Because the plastic, it will not get melt. Huh? So what do you think, the port it is solder or not? Just say it. I mean, we can check. Check there, every pin is soldered. You can see that? Yeah. Plastic, you can see the plastic. Plastic didn't melt. You had the plastic here. So one more time, this, it's a must have. You know how much it is? 52 pence. 50, it's under one pound. I can't believe. And you have like 30 grams here. Just use the link from the description or the QR code from the screen. But, you know, it's unbelievable how discounted it is. Now, the last item, yeah? This, I just have to have it. So this is like, you know, for my fellows, ham radio people, I'm a ham radio. But not only, yeah? This is just yeah, a beauty. So basically, for the price of one, you get two. So you have two radios, and you will ask yourself, okay, sorry, but what is so special? What is special? These radios, they have 10 watts of RF, pure RF power. I mean, this is insane. Most of the radios, they have like 3 watts. Best case scenario, they have like 5 watts, but 10. So we have basically like two okie-tokie. We have a bunch of accessories, including CDW software, and I can't believe, I didn't expect that. So also it's coming with a big antenna. It's a dual band. <laughs> I didn't expect that. It was not saying on the description. I can't believe. Usually if you want more range, you have to buy this separate. So we have a big antenna. Of course, we have the small ones, probably. It's coming with a um, USB cable communication. You can do a lot of stuff, including programming. It's coming with hands-free, so you don't have to keep the radio. You have voice activation and uh, also push to talk. You have the manual. By the way, you don't need a license to use this radio. It's 433 megahertz, which is free to use. We have a hand mic. Check here, hand mic. Also, we have normal antenna. Uh, SMA um, adapter. We have the charging cable, which is USB-C, and the radiates on. And this one. Welcome. Channel mode. And now we can test them. <laughs> Ten watts. You can believe that. Also, you have the flashlight if you need it. You can also set up them and use with the repeaters, you know, free to use the repeaters so you can have a better coverage. 
So that's the battery. The battery has 7.4 volts, 2.5 amps. Now, if you are a ham radio, you know actually the most important component is the antenna. So it is important the antenna to resonate on the frequency. Otherwise, you can, uh, instead of uh, amplifying the transmitting signal, actually losing. So we're going to check the antenna with my uh, rig expert. Let's see if it's resonating and where is it resonating. And also the SWR is very important. Now check there. So the antenna is resonating around uh, 400... 433, you can see there. And the SWR is around 2 with this small antenna. So this is great, fantastic. And the big one? The other one is resonating on lower frequency, but that's something we can fix very easily. It's not working on 433, this one. But it's hard to take a measurement from here on my desk, uh, you know, surrounded by metal things. If you have a SWR meter, uh, the resonating frequency, at least on this one, is higher. But that's easy to be corrected. You just have to take this cap out and just cut a little bit. You cut a little bit and the resonating frequency is going up. But if you ask me, I mean, this is very easy to be unlocked. And unlock means, I'm not sure if you have to be unlocked to listen, let's say, on the ATCs. But... The resonating frequency is around 116, from what I see in here, which, you know, it's uh, airplane radio ATC stuff. But it is possible I'm testing this uh, wrong. Anyway, the SWR is fantastic. I mean, why 1.5? Probably a better test it would be to connect the antenna straight here without the cable and hold the antenna far away from metal stuff. But I'm just uh, telling you, this one is perfect, this one... It's not working on 433, I tested. So if I'm going on 433, here is just flat band. It's nothing, it's not resonating on, uh, on 433. So there you have it. What 10 watts means? 10 watts means uh, a lot of miles on like a straight line, yeah? So the only things which it will limit you, it will be the earth curvature. And of course, buildings and vegetation and stuff. But you should go a bunch of miles with, with this radius. And the beauty part, the board radius and all the accessories, you can buy them from £32 free too. Yeah? You just use the link on the description or the QR code from the screen. You can install the app and buy them for £32. Great. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm just you know trying to bring discounted products to my community. So I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you, Temu, and see you on the next one. Bye.